Jack was uh, a guy that was talked about when I was younger by my uncle, uh, the artist, the, the guy my dad just didn't like because he was an artist. The beatniks aren't so much from Denver, but the key figure in the beat generation, Neil Cassidy, grew up in Denver. But my uncle hung, hung out downtown. I don't know exactly. It, it's kind of fuzzy whether he really knew uh, Jack Kerouac um, and Cassidy, but he hung out the same places, so most likely he did. The great bulk of this literary work was actually written in Denver, like the poem Howl that made Allen Ginsberg so famous. And uh, with, within no time, uh, I put all this stuff that was starting to gel together, and I thought, okay, I'm going to make a miniature. And people are very visual. They'd rather see something in the round. So the more I worked on stuff like this, the more emotionally involved I got. And uh, when you're doing a life-size piece, I, I can't explain the, the euphoria. Uh, it's something people need to check out. You know, I can sit here and explain it, but there, there are things, terminology, I guess, that might be mentioned by me that they don't understand. And, and then they're lost right in the middle of the process. Go to YouTube, pull it up, and actually watch somebody do it start to finish. And, or go to a foundry. It's a wonderful experience to go into a place and see body parts laying all over. And all of these guys working in different stages. You have to pay your dues. But if, if you're passionate enough about what you do, you put up with those farmers that ask you how much it costs to do that painting. Even though you've got about $5 worth of paint and 40 hours worth of painting and uh, 30 years worth of practice. And Blake, my son, the youngest, he, uh, he's got it made. The internet and selling stuff online and all of these sites that you can contact people and, and trade and sell, uh, I'm, I'm about 50 years too late. He grew up in my studio, that was his daycare. Some, some of my friends called it uh, Poor thing that, that ruined him for life, having to be in that dirty place. And, but uh, you guys go ahead and pull it off. I'm very happy with the, the end result. That US 40 is the first road that was built by the US government. As a matter of fact, it was called the National Roads. This is really the genesis of the things that became the Beat Generation, that became on the road, the riding style and everything, happened on Highway 40 and happened on Colfax Avenue in Denver. What's the point? Carl Jung and, and uh, Freud asked that question and did studies. How can this person give up all that is important to most people? Uh, throw it all away to do what they do. And you know, that I guess that creative personality type was what I, I enjoyed and seen in Jack. And I felt bad for him because he was a very basically a shy guy. And he had to drink a lot to, to deal with the stupid questions and the stupid interviews, as condescending as they were. Um, I don't know.